Hey folks, Nindo here. Today we're talking about some advanced tactics you can use to trick players that could lead you to getting more kills. Some of these tips you may only use once, but it will be that moment that you're glad you learned them. Awareness of these tactics can also save you from getting tricked by other players using them. You can heal a cut silently with bandanas. If you've ever been in a fight where you're cut and both you and your enemy have temporarily retreated to bandage up, then your enemy is listening for the sound of you bandaging to launch an attack at you. Instead of using a regular bandage or rag, which will make a sound, Use a bandana and it will make no sound while you stop your bleed. To avoid wound infection, you can also disinfect the bandana ahead of time, just like you can with a bandage. You can switch weapons silently by dropping them on the ground and then picking them back up instead of doing the normal weapon swap. Typically, when you switch weapons, it will make an audio cue that other players can hear, which may give away your position. I only use this in extreme circumstances when I know their enemies approaching and they do not know I'm there, but I need to take out my main weapon. In regards to fresh spawn life, a simple yet effective method to landing melee attacks is hiding behind open doors. Run into a building and back up against the wall and close the door, wedging yourself against the wall. Try to make sure your weapon's not sticking out through the door. Once you hear the enemy's footsteps enter the building, Close the door and launch an all-out attack. This is a good trick to play when you're undergeared and there's a person in town with a gun. When properly executed, it can give you a quick couple melee attacks, and if you catch them in a full stun lock, you may even be able to take them down. I don't recommend this when you have a gun and armor. This is mostly for a tricky play when the odds are against you. In a similar vein, it's good to memorize roofs that you can climb on. You may never need this trick, but the one time you remember this trick, it could land you a sneaky kill. Let's say there's a dude in the window across the street, and you can't get an angle on him. Climb the house, go onto the roof, and now you've got a shot. Jump out of certain windows to surprise enemies that think you're stuck in the building. There are some windows that might surprise you that you can jump out of. Practice these windows when you're running around looting, Eventually, it will become a second nature. A good example is the military prison building. Let's say there's a group at the front door that think you're trapped. You can actually jump out the window here and then either flank them around the corner or run into the distance and get the heck out of there. The sound of unpinning and repinning grenades or even a flashbang can be used as bait to force your enemies to make a move. For example, if they are holding a building, might cause a nervous player to flee the building, setting up a scenario for you to get an easy kill. This one is very hit or miss, but just be aware it's a thing. When you run as a two man, you could also have your buddy watch the door while you make an unpinning noise near the back window. When the enemy exits the building, your buddy can light them up. Landmines are a great way to kill players that visit common buildings but you can up the sneakiness by placing items on top of the landmine. For example, throwing an item on a landmine will not set it off. It can be tricky, but if you toss an item at just the right angle, it will completely cover the landmine. Then someone steps on it, boom. Taking bait shots to attract players into a fight. Let's say you're bored, you want some kills, but haven't seen anyone in ages. Go to a common town or military base and start firing shots. Even better, if you have two different guns, you can simulate a battle taking place. Reposition and see if anyone comes to investigate the sound. Blast them when they arrive. You could change clothes to trick players that are hunting you. Let's say in the early game you're looting up, you kill a freshie, and then realize you're being hunted by people looking for revenge. Make it a goal to change all of your clothing and look completely different. You may then even get away with walking by and saying friendly. Your mileage may vary on this one. Let's say you're in a chaotic fight 
with third parties showing up and an all-out war is going on. Your buddies die and you're out of ammo. As you try to escape, yell something like, Yo, I'm on your team. You cool, man? You cool? Something to make them hold off on shooting you, even if it only makes them hesitate for a split second. This can lead you to running around the corner, running for your life, or maybe somehow even landing a kill. Alright, let me know some of the tricks you've used in the comments. Check out the video on the left for more tips on getting kills. Subscribe to the channel and snipe the like button. Thank you and have an awesome day. Peace.